think cost savings, given the this, this state of our industry, and we're still in business, we'll be here tomorrow, we're not, we're not going away. I've heard that since probably 1988. Um, the business levels are down. There, there's no doubt about that. Advertising is down, circulation is down. Um, when you all reach 32 or 33 and have kids in school and own a house, you'll all subscribe to the paper. Our, our demographics skew older. Um, but, but in any business, you have to look for, for cost savings w because when revenue drops, uh, however much, um, and your goal is to not be a nonprofit organization, um, you, you look for better management techniques, better processes and procedures and everything you can do. And I think a lot of this is an outgrowth. And, and I was So in your opinion, what is in the future for legacy media? I think, um, I think they'll continue to be a print product. I think that's very important. Um, you see some newspapers scaling down to different, to less frequency. Um, but, you know, I remember since 1988, too, this, this business was going downhill. And uh, hearing, hearing um, some people talk, and, and they likened it to, a, to the book. The book, the physical book, while, while it's changed and a lot of people read it digitally, a lot of people still read the hard book. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that'll be the same for print. Um, but I do think as an industry, we have to get much, much smarter and much quicker um, and, and more innovative. So how are you able to identify your audience? You say that, or you've said that your audience has grown. How have you been able to identify that? Uh, several measures. We subscribe to um, to professional services um, that are, are the industry gold standard. Uh, one of them is AAM, um, Audited Alliance, Media Audience Alliance, and they they physically hold us accountable to what we say we deliver and what people are paying for. Another way that we measure our audience is through a company called Nielsen Scarborough. So it's the same Nielsen you're familiar with. Um, and they do surveys in the market um, and give us a measurement of, because we, we know how many copies we put out, but we don't know how many people have read them. So Nielsen helps us understand how many people are reading it. What are some of the most innovative ideas that you've had here at the journal? Filming. <laughs> oh, Brian. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> filming, filming is, is good. Um, you know, Joe mentioned his position being new and, and the, the, um, the, the former structure of, of uh, a lot of newspapers uh, was very compartmentalized. And, and, and we've, we've done away with, with all of that, for example, in advertising. Years ago, you would have had a rep for your classified ads and a rep for your retail ads and a rep for this or that. And, and, and one we found that one rep calling on you and, and building a better relationship between you and, and the company works better. So we've, we've gotten rid of a lot of that compartmentalization um, and, and taken a broader, all-encompassing approach to, I think, our, our business model. 